Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike835 again, bringing you another G-Shock review and unboxing. And guess what? I have one of these old school dogs right here, as you see here. This particular model is the GD200-2ER. This has, as you see here on the square box, the particular module of this watch is the 3267. Of course, it's the original tags, shock resistant, 20 bar resi water resistant, stopwatch timer, alarm, and super LED light. This is the uh, this is a model in particular that I wanted to review. This particular model didn't do too well with the sales when it came out. I believe that Casio has already implemented the design of the inside module into the new GD110. If you look at the watches inside, they, they look the same. So I, I'm sure that just what Casio did in this particular instance was is to use the same module, if not very similar, and put it into a bigger, better selling case with the GD110. At least they're trying to. And um, this is a really cool model. I would uh, classify this as a, you know one of those non-popular G-Shocks that uh, didn't do too well with the sales. Uh, but... Um, I picked it up for a great price and uh, you know it's one of those that I, I had to pick up because I wanted to do a review. As you see here this um, is uh, the bezel it's not like your normal bezel if you you know like bang on it it, it feels a little bit like gimmicky it's sort of like plasticky not like the other G-Shocks so I don't like that about it. Um, I believe uh, T-Sip said something about that. But I wanted to uh, get one in my hands myself just to check it out. And I'm sure that uh, Master Willy Licks, yeah, I know you were interested in this model. Uh, so I just picked one up for a review so I could uh, give you a better video on that aspect. This is a side view of this, uh, this uh, watch as you see here. And what I do like is the band as you see here. It's pretty cool. It says here if you can read glass fiber insert construction it has that carbon fiber look which does really look really cool in the you know up close and personal but it isn't it isn't real carbon fiber it's just car, uh, glass fiber insert construction it, it's like sort of like a carbon fiber um, look alike or something like that this is the inside of the watch you have your basic functions as you guys are seeing right here If you guys really wanted to know, the watch the watch is sold as a blue watch, but as you guys are seeing here, it tends to be a lot more purple than you would think. So if you're not interested in buying a purple watch and don't get this model, it tends to be more purple to the naked eye than blue. This is the, um, I like the buckle, what they did actually here with the cloth and this uh, particular model. It says here, Casio Japan. This is the back plate on the GD200. Of course, that square model uh, box that you see here on the, in the middle next to Casio, that is the module number 3267. Overall, it's, you know, it's a basic G-Shock. It's one of those that you can hate it or love it. I believe they made another version of this, a red one and black. And I'm sure there's another one. I'm not sure 100%, so I won't mention it, but I know there's a blue one slash purple, as you're seeing here. And there is a red and black one. My favorite part of this watch is the, the band, the way it looks, it's really cool. It's not like something we see every day. To give you a more uh, detailed look onto the zoom of the watch, there you guys go. I hope you're picking up all the details. <clears throat> the band is really cool, in my opinion you see here glass fiber insert construction as you see here the LCD is sort of like the uh, MM-2 series it's all blue inside and those are the details on the watch as you guys are seeing here Anyways, guys, it's almost time to wrap up this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, I ask you to take that one second out of your time. And if you'd be kind enough to just click on that subscribe button, like, and I would appreciate it if you have any comments. Just to write it down below on the comment box. I would appreciate it. And that way we can get into more conversation in this particular model of watch. 
Of course, this is the GD200 G-Shock insert band construction. One of those, one of those oddballs, like you call them. Anyways, I hope you did enjoy my video. Please comment below. Thanks for watching. Mike835 signing out. Take care, guys.